Thank you very much for choosing to visit my campaign on this particular software. This is a software about geometry, math, and expression evaluations, and a small programming language. So the name of this software is Ask Euclid. So Euclid was the father of um, this geometry. And I will now, it is basically a desktop calculator, an expression evaluator. And it can it has all the mensuration formulas for different uh, shapes and it has a tiny programming language support which is an interpretation so let's uh, I will walk you through this and I will show some demo of the uh, applications that whatever it can do right now and what I am working right now so these green dots here meaning means that they are already in the product already in the application and uh, so this means that it shows that it, it is currently it is a repel loop which is a read evaluate and print loop so it i will execute so it looks like this and you can give a command like cls to clean it and it's a calculator so you can say three plus four and the results comes back and it can understand uh, some mathematical functions so this is a calculator and it the over the calculator it has variable declarations so you can declare a variable by the word fair and say and say so you can use where in several contexts you can declare another variable so this is how the expression evaluations works and I will clean it uh, so that you can climb, start on a clean slate and Euclid also knows the mathematical formulas for all the different kinds of geometrical shapes. So if we have a circle and uh, that radius is 3.45 and you can actually find that area by this formula. So you can just go ahead and type circle. and it can it can actually take a nested application so if i have a square whose area uh, so let's say i have a square whose area is uh, 3.14 so which is almost like a pi uh, value and the arm length of that square if that is the radius uh, of the circle then what could be the area so to decipher this statement is like uh, the radius of the circle is equivalent to the arm length of a square whose area is 3.14 square centimeter let's say so it calculates that so you can have nested queries and we can have different variables the variables that we declared before can be used as parameter to can say radius equal to dollar h okay so you can you can do mathematics and then pass that value as the this is basically expression evaluation engine uh, that is working in the background and the way these formulas are coming they are coming from some text files uh, like this I will show that in a minute let's uh, and you can declare the variables so let me make it bigger
so you can declare a variable uh, of type shape uh, like this so you can say where you need disk and circle uh, radius one so that will define a variable of uh, type uh, unit disk so let me do that so if i say where unit disk equals to circle radius equals to one so now unit disk is a shape and now i can try unit disk dot perimeter or area okay. so that as you can save numeric variables you can also save uh, these variables so as of now euclid knows most of the shape like circle triangles squares trapeziums trapezoids and such so with your support i will be able to add more and more shapes and their definitions so you don't have to remember and then uh, you can define your new shape like this uh, like you can share shape square in uh, area you are defining so this line here means that area is being defined by the property arm and area is represented by arm with a fair function so basically each of this uh, actually uh, creates a functional representation of the attributes and that's how it is coming back and you can actually write small program and uh, then it supports a small uh, scripting engine is there so let's say uh, let us write a small program so let us say we write a small program So we can say 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 is the way to instruct Euclid to say something. You can say what is the area of the what is the radius of the circle. Then you say get radius. So, or dollar radius that will define a variable you don't have to define uh, the variable radius beforehand you just get that and you can say then you can declare a variable called area and you say circle radius equals to dollar radius dot area then you say area of the circle with radius dollar radius plus is plus dollar area the only thing is everything has to be in the single line because Euclid uh, parses it line by line and now I want this is a very simple program and uh, children can write these programs and you can so Basically, you can we can now save it for the demonstration purpose, and I'll save it here. Okay, I save it called euclid.eld now at the C drive now what I'll do is I'll go here and I will say run C euclid.eld so it is asking me the radius of the circle I say 1 and it say area of the circle with radius 1 is 3.1419 so it's a small programming language in build I'm working on a debugger your support will help me to find the debugger you know make the debugger much more useful and working and an integrated development working environment so this debugger is a work in progress 
and you can actually get the formulas for different types of uh, you know shapes by this kind of form uh, command at the command line so you say circle dot area dot formula so it gives me the different formula that I can use to obtain uh, the obtain the uh, value of the area given this type of parameters and I can also do several other stuff so I can say perimeter so it will now give me the perimeter formulas okay that's uh, already built in and I'm working on a plotting mechanism so uh, users can be writing such kind of queries and they can plot arbitrary functions like they can do in MATLAB but much more simply here and this is a kind of experimental that I am working on kind of generating it in Euclid queries out of natural languages and processing it so we can I, for now it's an experiment so I'll say NLP uh, then given a circle with two centimeter radius uh, what is the area so probably I got something wrong so it's say when something goes wrong Euclid says check spellings and attributes now not much of the helpful but I'm working on it so you, you should be able to say something like what is the area of a circle two centimeter radius and this is also a proposed feature that I'm thinking that we, since Euclid knows all the formulas, you can infer back. So if PQRS, if uh, you want to infer back, like given a rectangle PQRS, can you tell that PQR is probably a right angle? Then PRS is also a right angle and stuff like that. Then it will be easy to prove the statements of equivalent triangles and such. So Euclid will be able to help there. And Euclid already knows few of the constants in the area of mathematics and engineering. And your support and contribution will help me to put more of these constants in the uh, software. So you should be able to write queries like this, like radius is equal to constants dot pi. So all the constants will be available in this format. So hope you find this useful and uh, probably uh, you know, please support and once this product is built uh, you will get a free copy of this product and thank you for watching